Hey Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another card show recap video. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not often that we actually hit up two card shows in the same weekend. We I think that's the first time we've it, ever done it. It is. We normally hit up the Oak Creek. It's the first Saturday of every month in Oak Creek, Wisconsin at the Salvation Army. It's the sports card show at the Oak Creek Salvation Army. That's the official name run by Fat Daddy Sports. And then on Sunday this past weekend... There was a card show, and we went to the first one when it was outside the uh, Deer District, mm -hmm. uh, close to uh, where the Bucks play. There was a card show at Ampham Field. Yep, it was the Milwaukee Card Show. Same sponsor, same show promoter, and this one, if you saw from the thumbnail, is really cool. It was done at one of the concourses, so we were out there. We had lunch at the uh, Line and Kugel's restaurant, and we uh, we picked up some cards. But we're we're getting closer to the National. And if, for those of you new to our channel, we do operate on a on a very modest budget every month. And so, one thing I've been trying to teach Peter, uh, excuse me, Porter, is we're not we're not picking up cards just to pick up cards. And in fact, if you see my pickups from this last weekend, they were they're pretty minimal. Uh, I was pretty laser focused on trying to find Franks. And a couple of our favorite uh, bargain box guys were not there. So, and just so you everybody knows, I wish everybody a happy. 4th of July. Yeah, we hope you had a great 4th of Fourth uh, of July yesterday. So, I'm going to show uh, my pickups here from the Oak Creek Card Show. Uh, mostly dime boxes, but this one I got for a buck, and I wanted to show first. Adrian Peterson Rookie Card. I I love <laughs> some of the, minus the Packers, some of the biggest foes of the Chicago Bears. You go back to Calvin Johnson, Barry, Barry Sanders, Randy Moss, all of them. I, I just, I love those. AP was another one. Then we got a Kenny Lofton card from early in his career from Ultra. Got an Eric Davis classic card. Don't have many with the red border. Got this Will Clark Elite Series. Probably going to end up sending this to our guy Cooter, but uh, added it to the collection for now. Got a Mo Vaughn second year Bowman card. This was a unique find in the dime box. A 1985 Topps rub off or rub down uh, where you actually rub, you know, could rub it onto a piece of paper or something, got the pudge. Did not have that. Then we got a McGuire here from one of those Studio Heritage inserts. Uh, a fixed stock Bowman card of Randy Johnson. And then we did add another Frank Thomas card. This was an SP 10-year anniversary. It was numbered out of 2003, and we have card number 540. So those were my pickups at the Oak Creek Card Show. What did you uh, pick up at Oak Creek? So these are my pickups at Oak Creek. I got a Liam Hendricks here. And again, most of this stuff dime boxes. Tommy Edmund. And in fact, we will have a video coming up, AJ, with Porter showing off how much progress he made on his 2023 Top Series 2 from the dime boxes at the shows. These are just going to be variety cards. Goldie. Yeah. Shout out to our guy, Daniel Wilson. Paul DeYoung. And then I mentioned, actually, never mind. Uh, here is a Billy Hamilton. Yeah, Billy. Okay, now I'm to the point. I mentioned this in a previous video. I got my first two Keenan Middleton cards. Yeah, so he's picked up with the White Sox. He's actually been a pretty good reliever. Mm -hmm. um, and we didn't know he had this, you know, th this, uh, this, these cards that were out there. He has very few in the database, but we picked them up. Juan Yepes. Uh Michael Kopech. Yeah, unfortunately, we're finding more early Michael Kopech cards in the dime box. He was a he was a hot prospect, but now he's kind of getting into dime box fodder. Mark Burley. His day with the Florida Marlins. Mike Clevenger Bowman first. Yeah. Not a great guy, but he's on the White Sox, so Porter's been Paul picking him up. Young. And on the back, Yasiel Puig. Yeah, I love those top sticker uh -huh. cards where you it's kind of like, oh, man, what's going to be on the back here? Jose Altuve. But you picked that up. But on of... the back, it's Mike Clevenger. Yeah. And then Yachty on the front. And on the back, it's Paul DeYoung. What's interesting is I think that is the set that your cousin gave yes. you cards from yes. before you ever collected card. It was like uh, you got it as, what do you, uh, like a party favor. Yeah, a party uh, and You brought favor. them home, and I remember just having them. There was Aaron Judge and a few others. Yeah, I... I... So I keep, saw, remind me, is that your first to bring you with the Astros card? Yes. Okay, yeah. I did pick up a Series 2 at the Milwaukee card show that was a, um, a bring you with the um, uh, Astros. Yeah. Mankata. That's, that's one of those baseball. Yeah. And on the back, Corey Kluber. And here is a Yohan Mankata rookie. Yeah, rookie year card. Hannes. This was awesome. Obviously a cool little reprint. A Hannes 2020 Topps Archives. It's always great when you can pick those up in the dime box. And a big poppy Ortiz blue foil. 
So that was our, our wins from the Oak Creek Card Show. Now we're going to transition into the Milwaukee Card Show. Um, and we picked up a few more cards. I, I got some actually really awesome variety here. So we got a Danny Ainge, 82 Donruss. Something about picking him up in a baseball card. Got a great Tony Gwynn card here with Joe Maurer, legendary lineage. Uh, a Juan Gone for the PC, one of those hologram cards. That's cool. Got another Albert Bell card. It's technically an Orioles card, but he's got socks on the front. Manny Ramirez, an earlier card from Pinnacle. I grabbed this for Dad in the Eric Davis Classic. Yeah, so we picked up a couple Eric Davis Classics this weekend. And a Jose Canseco 4040 Club. Got a 2022 Tops, I think this is 205. 206. 206 of uh, Ricky. Then we got a cool Warren Spawn card there. Thought that was great for a dime. An early Vladi. Stickums from Collector's Choice, and then Kenny Lofton, who we do have in a binder. Big fan of his. Kind of cool Wade Boggs card. This tops, uh, I think this is triple thread. Very thick stock. Then we've got some Hall of Fame pre-rookie cards. Curtis Martin from Classic. Got a Warren Sapp from Classic. And then a Derek Brooks from Classic. Not a lot of football cards that are out there right now. A lot of baseball. So we picked up this Charles Haley. Kind of a cool Jim Kelly card with him golfing. Love picking up Thurman Thomas. Got Julius Peppers for the Bears PC. Steve Young, shout out to our guy, Basement Card, big time Niners fan. This was a unique Bo Jackson for the collection. Uh, then we got a Greg Lloyd, uh, one of those museum, uh, excuse me, trophy cards, so it's a different type of stock. I also grabbed this at Garrison Hurst, rookie. Yeah, and then I kept these in top loaders. And then a Barry Sanders, Team Pinnacle, and then on the back, it's Derek Thomas. And those were awesome so inserts win, back win. in the day. Those, mm -hmm. those are fantastic. Got a Mike Mussina rookie year card, this Topps Leaf Gold. You picked out this one. Donnie Baseball. And it's a short print. I was surprised. It actually goes for like five or six bucks when we were updating pricing on TCDB. Another cool 90s insert, a uh, gold medallion of Juan Gone. Then this Fall Classics, really cool insert of Tony Gwynn. Again, for a dime. Can't beat that. And then I got this one. I think it was for like 70 cents. It, I was thinking, Porter, is this the one that's on my want list? And it was. It's a Pedro 91 Classic Best Minor League card. Needed that for the Pedro collection. Love those Minor League cards from back in the day. Now, my pickups for Milwaukee. Chuck Bednarik. And those are from a reprint set, but really cool to get some of those all-time greats. Art Donovan. Aloy. Yeah, a rookie card. It's a rookie card? Yeah, look, it's got the it's got the medallion. All right, all right, all right. I uh, believe this is his, like, a Independence Day variation. Very apropos with 4th of July mm -hmm. being yesterday. Apropos. Um, season 946 OPS in 2021, Diamond Kings, Lou Bob, numbered out of 400. Yeah, so the numbered out of 400 were the season stat lines. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to find a numeric card from an all-star Mm -hmm. Congrats to Lou Bob. Carlos Rodon. Yeah, another rookie year card. Yossi Puig. We rookie. got we got bested on that. Oh. We thought that was the rookie card. It was a burger's best. No. <laughs> it happens. Red. Gotta admit the mistakes. That's the second time. What was the other one? Ryan Zimmerman? Yeah, it was yeah. the card your mom threw over. Yeah, because you Jermaine like Puig from watching all those highlights. Yeah. He always licked his bat. <laughs> yeah. Jermaine, Jermaine Dye, rookie class. Big Bart. Yeah, this was cool. Casey Stangle. Starquest. Yeah, but with the Tigers. Shout Mags. out to Tiger727. Still like getting mags, no matter Harrison what. Harrison Bader. Rookie. Jake Berger. Rookie card. Tops Chrome. Yoki Cespedes. Man, those, Bowman puts out some really nice shiny cards. Benny Holiday, rookie. Yeah, you know, he hasn't, he had one home run for us, but he's actually been a pretty good pick. He's, what's, what's crazy, he is the most expensive, uh, look at that, that's an awesome card. Uh, real quick, he's the most expensive free agent ever in White Sox history, that's hard to believe. Now, this was awesome, I think we got this for 50 to 60 cents, mm -hmm. uh, and it is a playing day a card. 1973 Tops Johnny Unitas. Yeah, couldn't believe that. You know, again, this was somebody, their, their whole table was, and all the dime boxes were all new stuff like this. And then all of a sudden, that was just sitting in there. So we're like, mm -hmm. all right, yeah, that's, yeah. that's really cool. Johnny Unitas playing day card. Obviously, very heavy. You can't beat that. Uh, so we had a blast. Again, we always do the Oak Creek card. Oh, I shouldn't say always, but we try to always have that on the calendar, the Oak Creek card show. But the Milwaukee card show, that's uh, maybe quarterly. They've done it twice now. Uh, it's more of a high-end show. DJs, you know, obviously being at AmFab, you know, you couldn't beat the environment. 
Uh, but definitely probably for more, not something that Porter and I are into, but man, if, if you're in the Milwaukee area and you see that they're doing a show, you're probably going to want to check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, we want to thank all of you for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.